We are at Hamvention 2024. This is Everton. What are we talking about, Everton? What's the deal? You're at the ARL booth. What's going on here? All right, so we are uh, looking at basically education and learning. I'm a teacher on Staten Island, Staten Island Technical High School. We're trying to get kids involved with ham radio, amateur radio. I've only been involved a couple years, but it's amazing. Getting kids designing antennas, doing some fox hunting, communicating, you know, hacking our, uh, our radios at school. It's pretty cool. How did you get started down this path? Were you an amateur before, or uh, did you learn somewhere else and come to this path now? Yeah, no, I learned somewhere else. Uh, I was part of the Solar Car Challenge uh, down at Texas Motor Speedway. It was an okay. awesome time. Realized communications were something we'd really need, telemetry, and that's what kind of got me in, and it just took off. And today you're at the ARRL booth at the Teachers Institute portion of the booth. What is the mission of the Teachers Institute, and how has Teachers Institute helped you along with teaching amateur radio and RF type stuff in your classroom? Uh, it's been tremendous. So basically when I got my start with Teachers Institute, I walked in, they showed me everything I needed to know. I had like ready to deploy uh, projects I could bring right to the classroom, you know, learn the basics. I, I got uh, certified through them at a higher level, got my extra through them, um, learn how to actually engage kids and make it fun and make it real. So would you say that by you going to Teachers Institute, that, they're, that you're planting seeds in high schools so that we get some more youth on the air so we can get more amateurs doing what we're doing and perhaps maybe they, be, they stay in the hobby or the service in the long term. Is that what's happening here or are- A thousand percent. Okay, yeah. so uh, do you have any idea how the Teachers Institute is funded? Right now, it's all donor funded. So it's, uh, that's a challenge I know that they have, and, but it's an amazing payoff when, uh, when the kids are actually, they're really engaging and it, and it just keeps building up. So we're, we're talking about a donor-funded program that the, that's run through the ARRL. Uh, that guy over there, he runs it. And look, if you haven't heard about the Teachers Institute, now you have. You see the product of one of the teachers that's gone through it. Uh, Everton, you teach high school, right? Yep. What subject do you teach? So it's general STEM, so robotics, CAD, and then we do electronics. And uh, I'll just throw it out there right now. We had zero kids doing amateur radio. Within a year, we had 40. Now we're growing past 100, and it's just going to keep growing. Hang on, 40 and then 100? Yep, and it's going to keep going higher. And, and are higher. they all licensed, or are they just learning how to get there right now? All licensed, so we, we start the learning process and they go right through and get licensed. So one teacher at one high school, 100 licensed youths in New York, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't understand the impact that one teacher has, and now we can get one teacher funded through the ARRL to go to the Teachers Institute, look folks, you need to like hit this guy up, give him your money, like seriously, give him your money It'll help teachers like Everton get into the Teachers Institute, teach more youths, and maybe, just maybe, we can have a resurgence in our hobby uh, of a bunch of new amateurs that is, they're being helped by teachers like Everton. Um, have I not asked you something that you want to talk about before we close it up? Um, just the thing that I'll add is, you know, I'm a teacher. I have to do professional development all the time. A lot of it, honestly, is a waste of time in checking boxes. This has been the best professional development I've had. It's real. It actually pertains to the classroom. The day I walked back in, I had resources that I could share. It just keeps on giving. And uh, please, keep this going. Uh, I hope to continue with it. I hope to see more colleagues in it. It's been amazing. All right, gang. Carlos from the future. I'm editing this video. And there's something that I failed to note in my dialogue with Everton. Just so you know, everything that happened there is A, genuine, and B, I'm learning it as we're going along. I knew that Everton was a teacher and that he had gone through Teachers Institute, and that's about it. With that said, any donation you make to the Teachers Fund, the Teachers Institute Fund, is tax deductible. If you have the money to spare, awesome. If you don't, that's fine too. Either way, Try to spread this message. So, Teachers Institute, any donation you make is tax deductible. I hope this video resonates with you as much as Steve's mission resonates with me. Thank you so much for your time, Everton. I'm, I, my Thanks, my right hand is busy with my phone. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, and I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you, man. Catch you guys on the next one, 7-3.